Hello everyone, my name is Arlene and I'm a reference librarian in the Mercer University Libraries. Our website URL is libraries.mercer.edu and in this tutorial I will show you how to find articles in the area of health sciences. Now when you begin your search you want to utilize databases such as CENO, PubMed, and Ovid. As with many of our databases, we use Boolean operators to create a search. A Boolean search is a type of search where you can use words to limit, broaden, or define your search. Common Boolean examples are the words and, or, and not. This is what we consider a controlled language database. However, there is one database which you can utilize as both a control language and a natural language database. The database I'm referring to is Ovid. By using Ovid's natural language component, you can simply type in a question in your search box. For example, let's use this question. To access our Ovid database, You'll go to our website at libraries.mercer.edu. Let's look at this question for a minute. What are the health benefits, side effects, and safety concerns of black cohosh? Notice you have additional search criteria. Middle age female, review article within the last 10 years, and we also want English language. So we're going to go to our website and in the center of our website you'll find the databases tab once you click on that tab you'll see our databases from a to z click on o for ovid ovid is the third entry we'll click there Ovid will have a list of entries. I suggest you use the entry 1946 to present. And the reason why is because um, some of these entries are still uh, have information in process. Now we're going to type in our question. Uh, just for memory, our question is what are the health benefits, side effects, and safety concern of black cohosh. Click search. And again, uh, we do have additional search limiters. Uh, those would be middle-aged female, uh, review articles, and also uh, information uh, within the last 10 years. And we're going to also um, limit to English language. Now notice we have uh, almost 9,000 entries. So now we're going to go to our additional limit um, keys. I always tell students please learn or become familiar with these um, entries. Now we're going to go to our target audience uh, which will be uh, middle age, uh, we're going to select 45 to 64. However, we do have middle age 45 plus years, but we're going to click with 45 to, six, uh, to 64. We're also going to um, click on this check tag female. We're going to arrow down and we're going to click on limit a search. Now you can, just like we just did here, select two limit functions at a time, but for the purpose of this um, tutorial, we're just going to use one at a time. Now notice search statement two limits search statement one. So we went from almost 9,000 entries to 2,419. Now we're going to click on additional limits again, and we're going to look for review articles. Again, become familiar with this uh, particular search strategy. 
review articles will be found in publication types. So I'm going to arrow down and click on review. And then we're going to hit limit a search. Okay, now we're at 137 entries. We have another limit uh, function. Um, it's the uh, range in years. So let's go to publication. Uh, we're going to do the last 10 years, so 2009 to 2019 or current. Click search. Okay, we're down to 62. So uh, search statement four will limit search statement three and so on and so forth. So we have one more limit function. That is English language. Let's click here. Now we have 59 entries. I wanted to point out, notice how you can see search statement two through five. And you're like, oh, where is search statement one? Just click on that little expand button. And now you will see search statement one through five. You've answered all your information that you needed. You have all your limiters in. So you now have 59 articles you can use for your research. If you arrow down, you'll see all of your search information. And if you need additional assistance using Ovid or any other database, please contact us at libraries.mercer.edu or you may also email us at library on the score reference at mercer.edu. Thank you very much for your attention.